Okay then my friends, so we're pretty much done now and there's just one more thing I want to do and that is to add a little footer at the very bottom. So I'm going to go over to the index.html and scroll right to the bottom down here and then we're going to do a footer. So a little comment just so we know what this is and you don't get confused. Oops. And underneath that we'll say footer and give this a class of do 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 footer. And inside the footer, we want to just basically have a copyright statement. Now, I'm going to surround this with a div. So div dot, and then we give this a class of content for the footer. And then also, I'm going to say has text hyphen centered to center the text. All right. So this content class right here, we use this inside the footer. And inside that, we're going to do a paragraph tag. And we'll just say copyright. Oops copyright 2020 and it's coffee ninja don't you dare copy this <laughs> all right so save that and does this work yep there it is the footer right at the bottom okay then my friends so there we go we've pretty much done this page so you can see it looks decent on desktop but it also looks pretty good on mobile as well everything's responsive yep all looking pretty good the modal the tabs and the drop down menu at the top. So we basically just kind of scratch the surface with Bulma here. There is a load more different things you can do with it. So if we go to the Bulma docs, you can see there's a lot we can do with the forms. There's a lot of elements we've not really discussed like icon, image, progress bars, tables, and also with the components as well. We've not looked at paginations, uh, we've not looked at menus, which is side menus like this. So there's a lot you can do with Bulma, but hopefully now I've kind of given you that push, that introduction, and you'll feel comfortable just coming and checking out the docs. It is pretty simple to create, and they give you loads of code examples as well. So yeah, definitely check this out. The link is going to be down below. So then, my friends, I really, really hope you've enjoyed this series, and if you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot and it helps out an enormous amount. And if you do want to join the cause and support the channel, you can do by clicking the join button on the channel homepage or underneath the video or right down below. You also get a little cool ninja badge next to your name in the comments for that. And it's 99 pence or cents per month. And I've also created several premium in-depth courses on Udemy. So the first one is Modern JavaScript. The second one is D3 and Firebase. And the third one is Vue.js and Firebase. So if you want to take one of those, all the links with the discounts automatically applied to them are going to be in the video description down below. So again, thanks so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the very next course.